Biden sees one Democrat who can beat Trump in 2020. Joe Biden says that it is critical that President Donald Trump does not get a second term he claims he sees only one person who could stop that from happening. So, he's been talking to people privately saying that might mean he'll just have to run himself. After beginning the year both teasing a 2020 bid and ruling one out, sometimes on the same day, Biden in recent months has shifted unmistakably in favor of running say multiple people who've been in touch with the former vice president and his team. Biden sees one Democrat who can beat Trump in 2020. By Scott Osborne on November 11, 2017 Politics Share tweet email comments Joe Biden says that it is critical that President Donald Trump does not get a second term he claims he sees only one person who could stop that from happening. So, He's been talking to people privately saying that might mean he'll just have to run himself. After beginning the year both teasing a 2020 bid and ruling one out, sometimes on the same day, Biden in recent months has shifted unmistakably in favor of running, say multiple people who've been in touch with the former vice president and his team. Biden sees one Democrat who can beat Trump in 2020. For the first time in what would be the sixth presidential campaign that he's either seriously flirted with or launched, Biden sees an argument for a candidacy for which he is the only answer, an elder statesman who can help repair the damage and divisions in the country and around the world, unite the competing wings of the Democratic Party, and appeal to traditional Democratic voters who fled last year for Trump. He's a great respecter of fate, said one person close to the former vice president. At some point, it may turn into fate and planning. Many Democrats are wary about pegging the future of the party with Biden, who will be 77 by 2020, the oldest potential candidate in the field other than Bernie Sanders. Though a clutch player in both Obama campaigns, he has proved to be bad at running for president himself, and would likely be facing a raucous and crowded primary full of candidates determined not to step aside and repeat the Hillary Clinton coronation. Next week, Biden will launch a tour for his new book, Promise Me, Dad, a memoir of his relationship with his son Beau, whose death in May 2015 triggered both the last-minute exploration by Biden of a 2016 run and the emotional devastation that ultimately caused him to pull the plug. On a side note, Ellen DeGeneres has suggested she'll be Joe Biden's running mate if he agrees to run for president in 2020. The talk show host almost begged Biden to join the race for the White House in four years, responding to the former vice president's comment that he had limited contact with the current administration by quibbing until you run for president in 2020, as she put her hands together in a prayer-like gesture. Thank you, Biden said. Look, it's very flattering. The one thing I think you know about me is I say what I mean and I never mince words about it, and I mean what I say. I really have not made up my mind, he added. Now back to Biden, if that was not scary enough. Biden has been clearly leaving the door open to running for president in 2020, saying in an interview published Wednesday he hasn't ruled it out. I haven't decided to run, he told Vanity Fair. But I've decided I'm not going to decide not to run. We'll see what happens. He said that the decision would be hard on his family. It's hard he added. You don't run by yourself. Your family is totally implicated. They become news, they become fodder. He said that if his late son Bo hadn't fallen ill, he would have ran for president. No question, he said in the interview. I had planned on running, and I wasn't running against Hillary or Bernie or anybody else. Honest to God, I thought that I was the best suited for the moment to be president. Assessing the current administration he said that President Donald Trump gets in his own way in the path to improve the United States. We are so well positioned to own the 21st century, Jesus, God, if we just get out of our own way. The rest of the world is not a patch on our genes. I mean, geez, we have problems, but holy mackerel. It really could be a gift. The diverse party of the Democrats, providing an old white male as their candidate. Of course then there is his groping habit. Biden should go to work for the DSA. One of the more awkward moments from the Joe Biden inappropriate behavior reel is his whispering, grabbing, 
and ultimately trying to kiss Delaware Senator Chris Kuhn daughter Maggie. She is 13. Coons defended Biden saying that he was being Joe and it was just his way of being thoughtful and sweet to a young girl in the spotlight. Ultimately, what else could he say? So bring it on Joe. It could be real interesting, interesting.